There are quite a few companies right now currently developing humanoid robots, but Elon Musk has claimed that Tesla is the leader in that space. This is the second video in this series comparing Tesla to the competition to test Elon's claim. And in this video, I'm going to compare Tesla's Optimus to 1X Technologies' newest robot named Neo. Stick around to see how these robots compare. I'm John, and this is CleanerWatt. First of all, I think it's important that I share a little bit of background about 1X Technologies. So the company actually started with a different name. The name was Haloti Robotics, and Haloti Robotics was founded back in 2014. And in the summer of 2023, they actually changed their name to 1X Technologies. They are a Norwegian company, but they do have dual headquarters in Norway and in San Francisco, so two main offices. Their first commercially available robot, Eve, does have wheels and a clamp-like hand. However, their newest robot, Neo, which is not yet commercially available, but I will talk about their commercial plans in this video, but this robot is a big step up from Eve, literally, and has more human-like hands and legs instead of wheels. In addition, like other companies, 1X Technologies has partnered with OpenAI, and they're currently using NVIDIA's AI robotics platform. Several weeks ago when I was doing research, I came across 1X Technologies, and at that point, they had not yet released their Neo humanoid robot. They just had their Eve robot. And when I came across Eve, I just wasn't all that impressed with the robot once again. It has like clamp-like hands and wheels instead of legs. However, when they released this new video showing Neo, it's a lot more impressive and I believe this company is worth taking a look at and comparing to Tesla. While this video is short, it's very interesting because the robot is actually doing motions and communicating with the human in this video with motions. And it's very interesting to see the robot interacting in this way. Now, in order to get a little bit more of an idea of the capabilities of this robot, I did a little bit more research and I came across the YouTube channel S3. And S3 actually has several videos covering Neo, including a video entitled, I lived with a humanoid robot for 48 hours. Unfortunately, I don't have permission to use clips from that video, but I definitely recommend you go check it out and I will link to it down below. But in this video, you do see a lot more than the demo video released by 1X Technologies. Neo is shown responding to a voice command to get something out of the fridge. Then the host of the channel asked Neo how he should cook the peppers, and Neo responds to that. And the host of the video also asks Neo to tell a joke, which Neo does. There's more than that in this video, and then we also see Neo walking a little bit. But I definitely recommend you check that out to get a little bit more of an idea of the capabilities of this robot. Now, in this video, it is made very clear that the robot, Neo, relies heavily on human teleoperation, which means a human is actually controlling the robot. They didn't actually make clear if the actions shown in this video were being controlled by a human or if the robot was doing it itself. Nonetheless, this is not a humanoid robot that's ready to go into a home, but it needs a lot of development, especially it looks like on the AI side. With that being said, when it comes to comparing Neo to Tesla's Optimus, Tesla has not yet demonstrated speech commands yet, but 1X Technologies has shown that Neo can respond to voice commands. In addition, Tesla has not shown Optimus responding to gesture controls and understanding them, but 1X Technologies has shown Neo responding to gestures. However, I do want to make a note here that once again, I'm not completely sure the robot was doing that autonomously or if a human was connected to the robot via teleoperation and was controlling the robot in those instances. Nonetheless, it does show the direction that Neo is going, even if it was being operated by a human. And it may have been just a training exercise there, but nonetheless, it is interesting. Nonetheless, when you actually look on the hardware side, Tesla's Optimus is much more refined looking, whereas Neo has like a jumpsuit covering all of its components. It's an interesting choice. And I believe they made that choice partially because of weight reduction. And I'll talk more about that when I go over some specs. But when you see Optimus walking, Optimus walks much faster and smoother than Neo. And once again, I can't play a clip of Neo walking because it's in that video I don't have permission to show, but I recommend you go check that out and watch Neo walking. 
Neo walks pretty clumsily compared to Optimus. So Tesla definitely has that down much more. Also in general, Optimus's movements are much smoother and that also applies to its hands. Optimus's hands appear more refined as well. When it comes to the optical sensors, it looks like Neo is going to have two cameras mimicking the human eyes, having two cameras there. And it looks like Optimus, as I mentioned in the past, will likely have four cameras. We don't know the battery size of Neo, but Neo does make clear that they expect a two to four hour runtime from the robot. And Tesla expects up to eight hours of runtime from their robot. When it comes to a comparison of their hands, Neo does have hands with 20 degrees of freedom. However, Tesla's Optimus right now has 11 degrees of freedom with their hands, but do be aware that that will go to 22 degrees of freedom when Tesla brings out their new generation of hands, which probably isn't that far away. When it comes to the compute, Tesla is of course using their own in-house hardware. I believe they're using hardware for, for their new Optimus robot. And Neo is using NVIDIA's Jetson Thor, which is a very solid system. So I wouldn't say that one is massively better than the other. They both have great compute. I believe Optimus will be capable of speech recognition in the future, but that has not been demonstrated by Tesla. Whereas One X Technologies has shown that Neo can respond to voice commands. And once again, there's a caveat there that it may have been a human responding via teleoperation, but nonetheless, I believe there is some voice command recognition with Neo. Now, one of the big differences with Neo is its weight, and it is much lighter than Optimus. And I believe a lot of this is due to the fact that it has like a jumpsuit instead of like the metal casing and the plastic casings that go over the body of Optimus, but it is quite light. It's basically less than half the weight of Optimus. So that is really interesting. It's a little bit shorter than Optimus. And right now the robot definitely is not walking anywhere near seven and a half miles per hour, but it looks like in the future, that's what they're targeting. They're targeting the robot walking around seven and a half miles per hour. Whereas right now, Optimus is likely walking at around 1.3 miles per hour. And that comes from Scott Walter's estimates. And I mentioned that in a previous video. And basically in the future, Optimus should be able to walk up to five miles per hour. That looks like their target. But nonetheless, right now, it looks like Neo is probably walking less than one mile per hour. It really doesn't walk very smoothly and it walks very slow. So that seven and a half mile per hour number there is just an aspiration. It's definitely not anywhere near where they are right now. Then when it comes to their payload capacities, those payload capacities are very similar. Basically, there's only a one pound difference between the two payload capacities. When it comes to a hardware comparison, as I've mentioned in the past, Tesla has developed their own actuators and they have really designed very compact integrated actuators for Optimus. And you can see that Optimus moves very smoothly with One X Technologies and Neo. They have developed a very unique technology that really kind of mimics muscles and tendons in a human body. According to One X Technologies CEO, with a typical actuator system, there's often a 100 to one gear ratio, which means there's a lot of power behind those controls. And designing a system, a robot system that's safe is a lot harder because the typical actuators could more easily cause damage or human harm and cause accidents and much more so than a compliant system. When it comes to a specific description of this system, the CEO of One X Technologies was interviewed on the S3 YouTube channel, and the video was entitled, We'll Build 100,000 Humanoids by 2027. In that video, the CEO mentioned, quote, Our system works by having some very strong motors that allows us to pull tendons loosely inspired by muscles so that you can get these beautiful dynamics that you see in nature. Like you see an athlete running or like doing gymnastics, it moves in a completely different way than what you typically think about like stiff, rigid robots. We call it robot strands for a reason. When it comes to the development timeline and when One X Technologies plans to actually commercialize Neo, of course the robot right now still is in its beta stage, but they hope to ship Neo as soon as sometime next year. Now with that being said, if they do meet their timeline of actually shipping Neo sometime next year, the robot's going to be very limited at first and it's going to take some time for the robot to actually be fully autonomous. I think the robot is just going to be able to do really basic tasks at first, and it's going to require a lot of human teleoperation. When it comes to when there will actually be fully autonomous humanoid robots on the market, the CEO of One X Technologies actually wrote a post that was put on the One X Technologies website, 
and this was put out on October 11th of 2023. And in this post, it was written, quote, predicting the arrival of truly autonomous human-like robots is challenging, whether it takes 10 years or 30. My hope is that these innovations will lead to a sustainable abundance where androids powered by renewable energy can produce goods and services at negligible cost and minimal environmental impact. So even the CEO of 1X Technologies not too long ago was estimating somewhere potentially 10 plus years in the future before we actually have fully autonomous robots. So once again, we shouldn't expect NEO to come out on the market next year sometime and be a fully autonomous robot. It's going to have really basic capabilities and I believe for a while. Now I believe some companies like Tesla may be ahead of that 10 plus year timeline, but once again, this is the estimate, at least back in 2023, from 1X Technologies CEO. Now something that I've mentioned in the past is the fact that Tesla's Optimus robot is designed for mass production. It looks like 1X Technologies is also designing their Neo robot for more mass production because specifically in this post, which was put out on August 30th, it makes very clear here that quote, Neo has been designed to be produced at scale in the company's factory in Moss, Norway. When it comes to how many Neo robots they're actually going to be able to build in that factory, once again, in that interview video on the S3 YouTube channel, the CEO of 1X Technology said, quote, for Eve, we last year peaked out about between 10 and 20 units per month manufacturing wise. For Neo, we're going to do like five to 10 X of this in the factory we're building right now. Since it's a second generation of our technology manufacturing wise is actually quite a bit more efficient to assemble and manufacture. When it comes to more concrete numbers, the CEO in that video very specifically mentioned making thousands of Neos in 2025, tens of thousands in 2026, hundreds of thousands in 2027, and millions in 2028. When it comes to Tesla's production plans, as Elon made clear in Tesla's Q2 2024 investors conference call quote, Optimus is already performing tasks in our factory and we expect to have Optimus production version one and limited production starting early next year. Elon went on, this will be for Tesla consumption, but we expect to have several thousand Optimus robots produced and doing useful things by the end of next year in the Tesla factories. And then in 2026, ramping up production quite a bit. And at that point, we'll be providing Optimus robots to outside customers. That will be a production version two of Optimus. Toward the end of next year for Optimus production version two, the high volume version of Optimus will also be produced here in Texas. So Tesla has some pretty aggressive production timelines that they're aiming for with their Optimus robot. But I will say that I have a lot more confidence that Tesla is going to be able to manufacture Optimus at scale because they have a lot more experience in that. And I believe 1X Technologies will get there, but it's going to take them a lot longer to ramp up to get to the thousands, tens of thousands, and the really large scale production of their Neo robot. They don't have the kind of manufacturing and production experience that Tesla has. Now, when it comes to the manufacturing cost of these humanoid robots, I believe Tesla is going to have a big advantage over the competition and specifically over 1X Technologies as well. Elon talked about this in the past that they don't want Optimus to cost hundreds of thousands of dollars, but instead they want it to cost like 10 or $20,000. And I don't know if he meant the sell price, selling the robot for that cheap, or if he meant just the production costs. But nonetheless, as compared to 1X Technologies, I believe Tesla has a much better shot of actually mass producing Optimus at scale at a low price. And I believe 1X Technologies is going to have a lot harder time at that than I believe they think right now. So with all that being said, really wrapping this up, Tesla does appear to still have a hardware advantage over 1X Technologies. However, Neo's tendon-like system is really interesting and does seem to be a good approach. But once again, when it comes to actually manufacturing and commercializing the product, Tesla, I believe, has a distinct advantage there. However, when it comes to the AI and tech side, I don't see that either company has a huge lead in that department because 1X Technologies has partnered with OpenAI and they are using NVIDIA technology, which of course is very good. With that being said, I would love to know what you think about this. So let me know in the comment section below your opinion on this comparison. I'd also like to say thank you to all of those of you who support me through Patreon. Your support makes a big difference and does help make these videos possible. If you'd like to find out more about how you can support my work through Patreon, I will put a link in the video description. Thank you so much.